Hi all and welcome. Uh, in this video I will show you a tool I created fully done in uh, ProShell called MDT Software Center. Uh, what's this? Uh, if you know SCCM, there, uh, there is a really good uh, functionality called Software Center uh, like this. Uh, this functionality allows uh, you to install software or upgrade operating system or install update anything uh, else uh, on a client computer and everything is uh, located on a distribution point. Uh, MDT is a really nice uh, deployment solution, uh, but there, there are no solutions like this. That's why I decided to create my own, own uh, software center for MDT. Uh, it's like this, or uh, not in G GUI uh, done with Prussia and maps. So, my um, deployment, deployment share is located on my U USB stick, but you can also list content from a uh, deployment share located on your network. So, I have an application port, an update port, composed of uh, update security and endemon pack. I have also an OS upgrade port, language port, and installation status. It's empty because I uh, didn't install something on my computer. Uh, so for the application part, if you go here, for instance, you have a more detailed part with a picture here, that which change depending of the founder, for instance, Oracle or Intel. Uh, now, if you want to install software, for instance, you just need to click on the install button. Now, for, inst for this upgrade, it will list uh, a task, a upgrade task seconds located on your deployment share. And it will uh, build a comparison between the Task seconds XML and operating system XML to get the build version uh, from your task seconds. Now, uh, if the operating system is compatible with my OS version, uh, it's marked like here, not installed. If uh, the OS version of the task seconds is not compatible with my OS version, install on my computer it will um, be marked not installed for not uh, available for this OS version so just need to click on the install button like for application MV is the same for launch pack uh, the flag change depending of the of the language pack like this and it's pretty simple to use. Uh, in my case, I test with two ways. Uh, so from my USB stick and also I have a main deployment shell located on one of my computer in network and I run the client on a different uh, computer. So I can install application, upgrade language pack or also upgrade my OS uh, on the client and everything is located in my main deployment share. Uh, so I will see another video to understand how to implement this solution. Thanks, bye.